Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to show you guys a quick video on my tower base that I built for fighting off the zombie hordes in Seven Days to Die. And uh, let's take a quick tour. So, the zombies will pour in. I got four different sides here to make it easy for the zombies to get in. Four different sides, that way the zombies will path in here easily. I got these blocks so they all have to kind of jump in just so they, it'll kind of slow them down a little bit so they're not all piling in at once. Uh, there's a hole in the floor there with four different ladders for them to get up. Uh, I got steel ladders just so they don't break. Uh, four different ladders. I was going to build just one ladder, but I decided to build four. That way if one of the ladders breaks, they still have a way to get up to me. And they will path up the ladder here and get to the top. And I'll be waiting right up here, standing above them, shooting away at them. And there's a couple of electric fences here just to kind of give them a good shocking. They get shocked and it's easy to get a nice easy headshot so let's head back down. Alright I got I got a bunch of bales set up at the bottom so if, if things go wrong I can just jump out and land in the hay bales and not get damaged. I got, just got some bars set up here uh, we've got two electric fences, the generator and the switch, and so far it's been working pretty good. Uh, the, it hasn't been getting damaged by any of the zombies, and same with the vultures. And yeah, here's where I stand and to fight the hordes off. I got this piece right here, which, and I have this ring around the hole, and that kind of prevents me from falling into the hole. As long as I don't crouch down, if I'm standing, I can stand up here and fight zombies. Uh, I got the electric fence to stop them from actually getting up in here and if things go wrong I could always flip up a hatch or two but so far it's been working pretty good. They can... I did fight... I did do a fight where I didn't have any electric fences and I wanted to see if they could actually pop out of the hole and they can. They kind of... they can pop out of the hole but with the electric fences there it kind of keeps them keeps them at bay and it's pretty easy to shoot them and get headshots from from up here. And if a demolisher is climbing up, let's say there's a demolisher climbing up this ladder here, I'll just spin around and I'm kind of aiming towards his back. That way I'm not going to shoot, shoot the bomb on his chest. And so far it's been working pretty good. And this piece here, yeah, this it's nice having this piece here to kind of stop you from actually falling in the hole. That would be kind of tragic if uh, a bunch of zombies are down there and you fell in. But yeah, so far this, this base design has been working really good. I have, where is it? Got a hatch here. And I have a bunch of spike traps up top for the vultures. Uh, it's been working pretty good. The vultures seem to kind of just attack the area where you're standing. So I don't have, you know, I don't have vulture, uh, I don't have traps around the edge here that I don't really need them. I need them kind of in the middle where I'm going to be standing and that's kind of where the vultures do their attacking and they definitely get killed by the, uh, the traps. This piece right here, uh, I had a hard time finding a piece that would actually work so that I could actually stand here. It wouldn't obstruct my view and it's it's kind of like a short stubby piece like so it's not like blocking uh, when I want to throw like grenades and stuff down there. And it is cube one half five meter round three and if you click on round here you should be able to find it. Here it is. And then this piece here, if, so if you click on, click on square, it's pull square corner around. And I find, yeah, I find the combination of having this circle and this piece here works great for keeping you from actually falling in. Like there's no way I can fall in. And I'm in a great position to get headshots of any zombies crawling up. And so far, this uh, this base has been working great, and I got great views of uh, the lake and the surrounding area. There's a uh, Trader Joel's over there. I got my cabin there where I do all my crafting and have all my stuff. And yeah, we'll just have to wait for a horde night, and we'll test it out. All right, so it's horde night, and we are just sitting at the top of the tower waiting for. 
action to start. And here they come. Yeah, you get shocked. Doesn't, doesn't even stand a chance. Easy headshot, too. They kind of have a weird climbing animation, but whatever. <laughs> the cop spitter's trying to spit up at me, but he's having trouble doing so. Toss a few grenades down the hole. Oh yeah, they don't even stand a chance. Oh. See, they can kind of spit up at you, but... Didn't get me. Let this guy crawl to the top. Just easy headshots. No problem. Oh. Yeah, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, really. Good times. Another grenade down the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> yeah, one thing I like about this setup is you don't burn through a lot of ammo. Kind of just take the time and try to aim for the head. Not too worried if they get up close. I've mostly just been using the pistol for these 
through these matches because uh, I have so much ammo for it. Yeah, I'm not worried in the slightest. <laughs> Down you go. at me again. Oh, he got me. Bastard. Oh, yeah. I just heard a vulture, but it sounds like the spike traps took care of him. Yeah, they don't even stand a chance. There's no way they're going to get up to me. Unless I just stop. They have to have to wreck my electric fences, and then they could climb out. That cop's trying to get me. He's having a hard time doing so. It's so easy to get headshots. And there's the morning chimes. these guys off and we'll take a look at the base see, how, see what the damage is I think that's all of them yeah, I don't see anybody down there
turn off the generator, have a look around. Yeah, I think they're all gone. Just dump my stuff off, we'll go collect all the loot. And like, there's not a lot of loot bags down here. I feel like the loot kind of, the loot bags despawn. despawn. You guys missed the party. <laughs> Alright, just a little mini horde kind of showed up after the whole horde night party, but whatever. Alright, let's take a look. So a little bit of damage, nothing crazy. Very minimal outside here. Inside. Yeah, some of the ladders got damaged a bit, but very minimal. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything crazy. The ladders take a bit of damage, but nothing nothing too bad. And up here... Yeah, this takes a little bit of damage. But we're looking pretty good. Now one thing I wouldn't mind changing about this is maybe making this bottom area a little bit bigger and wider. I feel like the loot bags kind of despawn when they all stack on top of each other and maybe make it so, I don't know, maybe you'd want to make it so the zombies can, can't can crawl out and that way you could just like throw explosives down here and blow them up. But I figured I didn't want them attacking down here even though this is like, everything's double, you know, double thick. So I can't see them causing too much damage down here. It's pretty easy to shoot down at them, but I don't know, maybe I could, Next time I build, if I build something like this, I'd make it a bit wider down here and maybe make it a little bit harder for them to get out. Like they can't just climb out of a ladder. They'd have to like jump out on blocks or something like that. And then it'd be easier to throw explosives down and get like multi kills. And I, I guess if you wanted to, you could set up, you could set up, uh, you know, all kinds of different traps for them to hit on the way up. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys like the base. Maybe it'll give you guys some ideas of what to build for your horde base but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video my name's grouser and i'll see you in the next one peace